Okay, cooks, today I'm making mashed potatoes with shredded chicken and gravy. I hope y'all enjoy. Let's get started. So to begin, I'm using about five to six chicken thighs. Now I have used chicken breasts in the past. This is just what I had on hand in my freezer. So go ahead and if you do have those chicken thighs, go ahead and cut off that extra fat just so you don't have it and then put it in boiling water. At this point, you can go ahead and add in your chicken breasts or chicken thighs. This roughly takes about 30 minutes, just depending on how large or small your pieces are. And also do remember to skim the top of that water just so you won't have any extra fat. So in the next couple clips, you're gonna see me add the chicken into the bowl and I'm gonna let it rest for about four to five minutes before I shred it because it's hot. And how I came up with this meal was back in high school, I loved the beef cutlet and the shredded turkey with the mashed potatoes and gravy. And so last year when I found out that my son was autistic, I knew that I needed to create, create a list of foods that he would actually eat because if you are a parent or a caregiver of an autistic child, you know that list is short and it is limited and they go to what they like and that is about it. If you get them to eat something new, it is like the world is, oh my goodness, like I can't believe it. Like I need to take a picture, a video. I need to snap this because this is something memorable. So my hopes with this channel is I also want to create a list of foods that you can use in your home for your child. Now, obviously you're gonna to have to tweak it. You're gonna to have to add and subtract some things out, but I do hope that it works for your home because having an autistic child, there are challenges, but it is also rewarding at the same time. So shout out to the parents and the caregivers of autistic children. All right, so here I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken to the heated pan. I have an electric stove, so this is on about, I believe, a six or a seven, but I just already want my pan to be heated uh, while, at the, while I add the chicken in. And then next I'm going to add in my seasonings. I will have a list in the description box of the seasonings I use as well as the measurements. Like I said previously, of course, you're going to have to tweak it. You're going to have to add or subtract, but I do it this way every time and my son loves it. And right here, I am just simply coating the chicken in the seasoning before I add in the water. So just go ahead and stir that up briefly and then, yeah, add your water in. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my water. I'm using about a cup and a half of water for this dish, and I am slowly adding in the water. I don't wanna add it all at once because the water will slowly, or excuse me, will quickly evaporate. So yeah, go ahead, slowly add it in. And I have a stove top at this point. I believe it is on a four. So with the electric stove, you can do like a three or a four and just let that simmer for about seven to eight minutes because the chicken is already cooked. At this point, we just want the seasoning to slowly um, emerge into that chicken. We want it to be nicely coated and beautiful. So yeah, about seven to eight minutes and your dish should be done. All right, now it's time for the potatoes and I'm using instant potatoes. It's the weekday and y'all, I just wanna make my life easy. So if you're anything like me, you wanna make sure the kids come home to a nice hot meal, they get nice baths and then they go to bed stuff it full. So yeah, here I am using the instant potatoes. It shouldn't take no more than about 10 minutes for the water to simmer at the potatoes. And yeah, just follow the instructions on the back and you should be good to go. All right, so the last of the ingredients, I am adding in the chicken gravy. And again, this is store bought. So just follow the instructions on the back of the packaging. Really simple and easy. Now, in the past, I have made the same meal with real potatoes in home style gravy. So if that is something y'all are interested in me doing, I can definitely make another version of this video with the real potatoes and show you how to make homemade chicken gravy. Just let me know in the comments if you're interested in that. Thank you. 
All right, y'all. So last of it, I am going to go ahead and add on my potatoes. I'm just going to add about two scoops of potatoes and spread that out. And I know some people might say that's a lot of potatoes, but my child is a meat and potato type of kid and he loves his potatoes and he will eat the chicken as long as it's to his liking. So I make sure to do that. And my son is pretty tiny, but he is small but mighty. So do not let that size fool you because the boy can't eat. I'm just not sure where that food is actually going. But yeah, so here I just have that mashed potatoes and the chicken. And then to top it off, I'm going to add on some of that gravy, just like they used to do back at school. So there is the gravy. And then I'm going to add on a side of green beans and apples. I've really been trying to get my son to eat his fruits and veggies. So if you parents or caregivers have any tricks out there, please let me know because that is one of the challenges I am facing right now. But yeah, um, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Take care.